This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to save and load masking on a model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the demo head model here loaded in. And the question is referring to coming through and masking out an area of your model, saving that mask, and then masking out another area of your model, saving that mask, and then having the ability to come back through and load one of those masks that you had applied originally. So how can you do that inside of ZBrush? So the process to do this requires your model to have UV coordinates. So the demo head here, if I navigate over here to the UV map tab, you can see it does not have any UVs applied. So before you do this process, you need to make sure your mesh has UVs on the model. So I'm going to go to the geometry tab here. I'm just going to knock the demo head down to level one. And then I'm going to go to the Z plugin tab up here. I'm going to open up UV master. And then I'm simply just going to click unwrap. So that is going to apply a quick UV map to the demo head here. After this is done, I'm just going to come over to the geometry tab here and go all the way back up to that highest subdivision. And now if I navigate down to the UV map area, you'll see I do have the ability now to delete the UVs on this model. So once you have a model with UV coordinates, now I can proceed to come through and mask this out. So just have the mask lasso brush selected. So there's my first mask. And now with this, I want to store this mask. So to store this mask, we just need to go to the masking tab here. And underneath the grow mask button, there is a create alpha button here. It's going to take any mask you have applied to your model, and it's going to create an alpha using those UV coordinates and that masking. So if I come over here and click this, you're going to see now I have a new image pop up over here with that mask applied. So let's clear this mask now. So I'm just going to hold control and then just click off the canvas to clear that mask. And now let's mask another area, say his eyes through here. And now let's do that same process. So go over to the masking tab here, do create alpha. And you'll see now I have another alpha created based on this masking. So let's say now I want to go back to the mask I had for the hair. So to do this, just need to go to our alpha tab here and then select the mask we had for the head. Then go back to the masking tab over here. Down here there is a mask by alpha area and we just simply need to click mask by alpha. And that is going to return the mask we had done for the hair there. If I want to get the mask back that I applied around the eyes, just come back over here, select the alpha that corresponds to those eyes, do mask by alpha again, and now I'm going to get the mask for those eyes. So this workflow just requires your model to have UVs, then just simply come through and mask any area on your model. Go to the masking tab here, do create alpha. This is going to create a new alpha map. And then with this, you can come through and simply select that alpha, do mask by alpha, and it will restore that mask that you had. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.